Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Wish Infinite. In this video of Playwright with TypeScript series, I would be covering that how to perform mouse over action in Playwright. So let's start with the theoretical part. So to mouse over over the magic element, we need to use the hover method. And here is the syntax. We need to give the await, then locator. And after the locator, we need to put dot. And then we need to use this hover method. This method hovers over the element by performing the following steps. It wait for the actionability check on the element, which means that element should be visible. It should be stable, means any animation should not be going on to the element. And it should be able to receive events, means it should not be obscured by any other element. So these are all the actionability checks which this method would be performing unless the force option is set. While giving the practical example, I will tell you that how we can pass this force option with this hover method. This method is scroll the element into view if needed. Means if your element is not visible onto the page and you will have to scroll down. So automatically that part would be performed by the playwright using this method. It uses page.mouse to hover over the center of the element or the specified position. This method wait for the initiated navigations to either succeed or fail. Let's say if this action is initiating some kind of navigation, so it will wait for that navigation to be succeed or fail. And we need not to worry about these steps. These are all the steps which are getting performed by the playwright when we are using this hover method at the back end. So at the front end, we would be able to see that we are able to perform mouse over action onto the given element. So now let's see the practical example that how we can perform the hover action in Playwright. So for this particular video, I'm going to use this demo.opencart.com website. And here I'm going to perform mouse over action onto this components element. So here the question is that what is mouse over action? So here if I bring my mouse on any of the element. So this particular action will get considered as mouse over action, right? I can mouse over onto any of the element here onto mouse overing onto this components. It is opening this menu, right? Where we are able to see different options with this show all components also. So let's perform this mouse over action onto this components element. So here into the VS code, I have already created one test script file which is practice mouse over dot spike dot ts. And inside this test script file, I have imported the test from the playwright test module and created this test block with the title practice mouse over action. And here I have given this anonymous function. Inside this, we are opening this demo.opencart.com website with this page.go to method. And then I would be performing over action onto that components element. So let's first detect that element. So for this, I'm going to use this pick locator. So let me open this website onto this open browser. And here, once I mouse over onto this element, which is components, I'm able to see the locator into this tooltip, right? Here it is using the guide by role method to detect the locator. So here, once you click here and then go to the VS code, we would be able to see the same locator. Hit enter to copy this locator and then we can use it inside the script. So here we need to give the page dot and then you need to paste that locator which just got generated. And then onto this locator, I would be performing the over action. So for that, after the locator, you need to put the dot and then you need to give the hover method, right? And then you need to put the parenthesis, right? And as this hover method is going to return the promise. So for that, we need to use this await keyword here. So with this, we would be able to mouse over onto this components element, right? So now let's execute the script. First, let me close all the open browser. And then you need to click onto this run button. So here it will open this website and then it will mouse over onto this components element. So see this website got opened and then it mouse over onto this components element. And that's why we are able to see this menu, right? Where we are able to see this mics, monitors and different items which are available with the show all components link. 
and then after performing this hover action you can perform any further operation right let's say if you want to click onto this element that you can do or if you want to put any assertion that also you can do onto any of the element on which you want for now let's click onto this element okay which is show all components so here i can again use the speak locator then i can get the locator for this show all components click here go to the vs code copy the generated locator and then we need to use this page dot the locator and then onto this i am going to perform the click operation so for that i can use the click method and here we need to give the await keyword so with this we would be able to open this website and then it will mouse over onto the components element and then it will perform the click operation right so it's up to you what action you want to perform after doing the hover action or if you want to perform any assertion that also you can do and with the theory as i told you that this hover method performs all these steps at the back end right where it performs the actionability checks onto the elements and we can give the force option to bypass this actionability checks right we can directly mouse over without performing these checks so for that what you'll have to do with this hover method we need to pass that force option so here you need to put the curly braces inside this parenthesis of hover method and then we need to give the force and then after this we need to put the colon and then we need to set it to true so it will not perform the actionability checks onto the element before performing the mouse over action so passing this option is optional we can use this hover method directly or we can pass the different options here there are other options are also there which we can pass for that you can visit this particular website i will provide the link of this official website into the description with this page so you can go through all these options if it is relevant for you so like we passed this force option other options can also be passed here you go through these options and if you have any doubts related to it you can let me know into the comment section so that's it for this particular video let me give you the quick recap so as we understood that we can perform mouse over action onto any of the element and for that we need to use the syntax which is await located dot hover method and with this hover method we can pass the different options also and passing these options are optional so here like this we can give the locator and then on to that we can give the method which is hover to perform this mouse over action that's it from my end you can click on to the first card to go to the next video you can click on to the second card to access the whole playwright tutorial playlist and stay tuned for my upcoming videos if you have any comments questions or doubts you can let me know into the comment section below please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a great day